And we're talking in this case the entirety of the staff. And that would be custodian to secretary to teacher to administrator. And we're doing that for the following three reasons. The first reason is because many of these people are themselves exhibiting extreme stress over their own distress about what's happened. And they need attention just like we're providing students. And that attention needs to be the attention that you give social service and psychiatric support. And we want to be able to talk and evaluate and help staff that need that. And assure staff of how you continue to work when you've done nothing wrong. And you can only imagine what's going through their minds. I work at a school that's happened. People might think the same of me. And I've never done anything wrong in my whole life. I've lived my whole career. I've done fabulous things. Um, I'm new. I only started teaching two years ago. I don't have a long career. All of that, professionals have to work with our staff. And simultaneously, we have to investigate it. And we don't want to constantly disrupt education at that school while we have to do that. And it has to be an important and thorough investigation. And the sheriffs have to conduct their investigations. And that goes with every staff, from after school staff to anybody in the school. And thirdly, uh, we need to work with our staff so that they understand um, how they themselves come to terms with what they may know and how they come to terms with something that they may never have known around them. And we think it is absolutely best for this school to bring support, support, excuse me, and stability as fast as possible. So the location that we're going to relocate our entire staff to while we go through this process um, and the rest of this semester is a school that we're building that does not have students in it and we will work with them while they're on track. You know that this school, may not know, this school's multi-track. So some teachers work for six to eight weeks and then another staff comes in. They're all involved in this. And what we've done is that we have hired and screened uh, a new teaching staff. And we have hired and screened uh, entire staff that will come in and work in the school. And simultaneously, we have hired what we call a psychiatric social worker for every single classroom. So every classroom will have a teacher, and the term is a psychiatric social worker. These are trained individuals who work in the support for adults and students, in this case, students. And here, um, they will be in the school going forward, and that team will work with our students and our parents. I've also said um, that while I've been here in this little less than a year, the system and I have to understand how could this have happened? Um, how could questions like how could people not tell you if they knew something? And is there policies that could have or should be changed? And to that end, formed an independent commission to look into this and to report to the Board of Education. And I've asked and graciously accepted the leadership of the commission uh, to be the former Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of California, Chief Justice Carlos Moreno. And he has graciously accepted that task and will move forward with that process. And they will work with the board um, on that. It's important to know if there are things that we can change and should change. And any situation of this gravity and magnitude should be independently taken a look at as well. We'll continue to work with our staff as they come into the school and move through this transition and support our students. As I met with the parents, I guess I was struck by three things. One was um, there was a sense of relief. Um, uh, and I guess how do you know that? There was a, a lot of applause, I guess would be one way to gravitate that sense of relief at the series of announcements. And I say that because I don't think that's as simple as that. Teachers have worked with students for a long time. We loop in this school. So if you're a second grader, you then work with them as a third grader. 
and we're going to make this transition in a very short period of time. And people are going to struggle on that. That's exactly why we've brought in both support staff and our teachers to work with that. And we will endeavor to make that transition absolutely as smooth as possible for families and for students. Um, and so while I understand parents completely, I also understand that we have a lot of work to do in terms of the transition when you have a new teacher at any age, particularly elementary, around this. And I think the parents raise good and important questions um, for us to take a look at. Um, and we want to do that side by side with them around that. Um, there's still going to be an ongoing investigation. And there are still things that I simply don't know because the police will investigate them and they will tell us those if and when they find out something that they're going to act upon around that. And when that happens, we will respond to that. And we'll respond to that swiftly and clearly on the administrative side. If a teacher or an administrator or uh, support staff um, is found in the investigation to have any question that would lead me to worry while we're waiting for police to look into that, this administration intends on removing the person from the entire process while no one will be received any longer. Um, and obviously turn that over uh, to the police as we look at that. I think it is very important that the actions that we are taking not be seen as a condemnation of an entire staff. Quite the contrary. The action that we're taking is trying to support staff and simultaneously, simultaneously determine if there are individuals who have done something wrong um, and then do that with the appropriate authorities. The police are quite clear on who they will speak to and who we're allowed to speak to. Um, there is no um, contamination of that process. And we take their lead just like we did from the beginning. When they say, like you, the police tells you to do something, we do it also. And when they say that, no, we're actually handling this part of the inquiry, we will, we will do that. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, staff will work together for the transition at the school. And on Thursday, parents will come in, and the school will be staffed with our new team um, at that school. Um, and we will then move forward um, for the remainder of the year. This school comes to traditional calendar uh, in August, and so we have two more cycles of the year round at this school. You may say, well, what about staff that are not on cycle at the moment? They're all involved in this as well, and they will be transitioning and relocating.